Hello guys, and today it is Christmas Day. Now I'm going to. Let's get going. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Put it down. Sorry. Okay. Um. Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat an in date. Santa Kit Kat, okay, so this is going to be a Santa shaped Kit Kat, okay, and this is a normal Kit Kat, okay, so I'm going to first of all open up a normal Kit Kat to show you what a normal, this is in date by the way, this is a normal Kit Kat, okay, now, that's what Kit Kats look like normally, okay, it's basically a chocolate wafer biscuit, okay, in simple terms, right, I'm sure that Maybe to make a Kit Kat won't agree with me. You know, like, I think it's Nestle. But, you know, that's generally um, how I would describe it, okay? And I'm now going to open up the um, Santa version, okay? Now, it's inside it should be exactly the same, so it should taste the same be made of the same ingredients etc but it's just they've done it in a special Christmas shape it's almost a waste to eat it but never mind so there you go this is a Christmas version of a Kit Kat and there you can see the Santa hat Santa with his beard, like I've got, and obviously Santa wearing a hat like I'm wearing, and Santa's legs, and you can see also the arms as well, so, it's, a, it's sort of a work of art, it's almost a waste to even eat it, but there you go, a lot of times around Christmas time you have these um, Christmas themed sweets and biscuits and things like that, so I'm now going to eat it, okay? So it should be the same as a normal Kit Kat, so if I break it... Mmm, it's strange actually, it's not. Because it's a lot more chocolatey than I thought. I can't see as much biscuit inside as I would expect, so I'm going to break it a bit more. Yeah, it's mostly chocolate. There's a teeny weeny bit of biscuit in there, but not much. So maybe I need to break it higher up. Sorry, my stupid computer, I don't know what I hit, I must have accidentally hit something. I accidentally must have kicked a stop button by mistake, because it suddenly stopped recording. Anyway. Put these pieces back a minute, you can see. Obviously I ate the top part, but you can still see it's the Santa. It's the same Santa, and obviously I've eaten the top part. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. I must have accidentally um, hit a button or something, or hit something on the mouse. I don't know what, what happened there. So I must have accidentally pressed something when moving. I don't know what happened, but anyway. So it is the same one, honestly. And um, anyway, getting back to this. Okay. Um... I'm now, I broke it in the middle, and you can see there's bits of um, Kit Kat, but it doesn't look like a normal Kit Kat would, because a normal Kit Kat would have a chocolate around the outside, and then inside would be all like this biscuity wafer thing. So it would all be like that. Um, if I show you to compare, I'm going to break open a real Kit Kat. So this is a normal standard Kit Kat, okay? It's got Kit Kat on and take a break. This is a normal everyday Kit Kat, okay? So first you break them like that. Then you break it like that. And that is what a normal Kit Kat looks like, okay? So you'll see it's a sort of wafery there. A biscuity wafer there. Okay? That is what a normal Kit Kat looks like, okay? And this is what this looks like, which is 
it's got little teeny bits of it but it's not like the whole thing so you don't get a lot of, you get a lot of chocolate but you don't get a lot of the wafery what makes what makes a kit kat a kit kat basically and yeah so it's like little bits of it but not if I break it this way if I break it you know the other way it's like it's got little teeny circle bits but it's not like the complete thing so um when you eat it you get the same sort of crunchiness that you would get when you're eating a Kit Kat but it doesn't look as if you're eating a Kit Kat but it's just almost like mini circles of it but does it taste the same? I don't it probably does um So I originally thought, I mean, I may have had these before and may have forgotten, truthfully. I mean, you'll probably, I'll probably look through my old videos and find out that, you know, I know it existed. Anyway, anyway, to prove it's Christmas Day today, right, um, it is officially a white Christmas today. Um, officially in Britain, well in Scotland, not really perhaps anywhere else, however I went outside and had a look and I couldn't see any snow anywhere, I didn't hear it sort of, well you can't hear but you know what I mean, I didn't get the sense it was snowing, but apparently yes, it is apparently a white Christmas in Scotland today and the BBC um, News headline is White Christmas in Scotland Despite Warm Temperatures. I've linked to that in the description. This is to prove that it really is Christmas Day today, or at least, you know, and that um, I couldn't have known that for sure, or even the title of the headline, the headline title that the BBC are going to use to describe a white Christmas, okay? So officially it's a white Christmas, but it doesn't seem like it because I can't see any snow anywhere where I am. But apparently it was a white Christmas in Scotland, okay? Or should I say it is a white Christmas in Scotland because the day hasn't ended yet, okay? Although it maybe was because maybe the snow has disappeared now. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, so I'm going to get more of this. It looks a bit stiff if you don't break it, so. Maybe it's because I haven't got many teeth, but with a normal Kit Kat, you can easily. And see if it goes straight through it, but because it's mostly chocolate, it's quite thick chocolate. It means that. My teeth, because I haven't got many teeth, can't go all the way through. And so, I'm slightly crunching, almost like eating a large block of chocolate. I mean, the difference is if you do chew it, you do get some crunchiness, which you wouldn't get with normal chocolate, but taste-wise, I think you're mostly tasting chocolate, so... Now, to be absolutely fair to them, I didn't bother reading this. I just looked at it, got it, because it would be Christmas evening, I thought I could do a video about it. But in absolute fairness to them, they don't say it's like a normal Kit Kat. They say that it has, these are their words, rich chocolatey centre with crunchy wafer pieces. They're honest about it being wafer pieces. Whereas, and a normal Kit Kat, mm, mm, oh. you don't even say, 
to be honest. I think they want you to describe what they were, but they probably assume that everybody knows what a Kit Kat is now, so, you know. I mean, this was part of a multi-pack, and to be absolutely fair, yes, okay, you've got it. And two crispy, this is what how they describe a normal Kit Kat, okay, and the normal description is there. What it says is, two crispy wafer fingers covered with milk chocolate. So I'll repeat that. Two crispy wafer fingers covered with milk chocolate. And they call this a finger because it looks like a finger. As I said, this is a normal Kit Kat, okay? I've only got the um, legs, the feet now, left of the Santa one. So I'm going to eat that now. I'm going to say... That was a Christmas break Kit Kat, okay? Go to the bottom and picked up some presents. And it also might give a comment there about how good this is for you in terms of nutrition. And I know you can't read it easily, but it says. 155 kcal, 647 kilojoules, and it's got 8 percent. And what that means is how much energy, how much of, an, of a daily amount um, this clip cap will provide in terms of energy compared to what a normal person needs per day. So, essentially just one of these bars provides 8% of the energy you need to, um, for a normal, a normal person needs per day. So, um, Uh, for example, if someone ate 12 of these, um, then that means that would be 96%, almost 100, of what you need to survive per day. So, you had enough, 12 of these, that would be practically enough, nearly enough energy a whole day okay now I'm sorry to bore you guys with a long video of me eating a Santa Kit Kat but there you go guys me eating Christmas food on Christmas Day thanks for watching bye